Bay Business Systems Group, uh, and I'm here to show you a little bit about our Sugar Intact integration application. Sugar is, um, as you probably know, the fastest growing CRM company in the world. Intact is one of the fastest growing cloud-based ERP solutions, and our integration takes these two uh, cloud-based solutions together and makes them work seamlessly. So to start off, um, we're looking at a Sugar home screen. Hopefully you're familiar with that. And what I thought I'd do is I'll take you into the admin screen, show you how uh, easy it is to set up and configure the integration, and then we'll go in and look at a couple of the integration spots. So after you install the integration, it adds a couple new things to the bottom of the Sugar admin screen. One thing says intact integration configuration. The other is intact Sugar mapping. So we're going to go into the configuration screen. And it's got some basic information here that you have to configure. So it starts with asking for a product key, which we'll give you after you um, download the files. There's some intact connectivity information that gets filled in as well. And then there's some configuration things. So with regard to sales history synchronization, you get to indicate whether you want quotes, orders, and invoices all to come in. Um, from intact or just invoices, which is what most of our users do, but you have a choice. In addition, um, the enterprise version of our integration allows you to sync and map multiple intact companies to one sugar instance. So this is where you get to put in the different company names and you know usernames and password. This is from intact. And then there's some advanced settings related to uh, some initial imports. And then there's a list of the syncs that you can do. And one of the cool things about our integration is that there's four different ways you can sync data between Sugar and Intact. One is to do a manual sync. So you could say, you know what, I want to import customers right now. So you would click that button and click Sync Now. The second way is you can sync on a scheduler. So each one of these can be set up on a scheduler. You could say, I want my customers to sync every night, but I want my sales orders to sync every 10 minutes, etc. And then third and fourth ways that you can sync data are um, you can sync data one record at a time, or in addition, you could actually sync data in a batch mode. So we'll take a look at those. So this is really all there is to setting up and configuring your integration. Pretty straightforward. If we were to go back into uh, our account screen, and this is an accounts list view in Sugar, you'll see it lists the intact company, the intact customer ID. One of the cool things you can do here is you'll notice there's a new option here on the accounts drop-down called import from intact and if you click that and you do a search it's reading in all the customers from intact and if you select all of them and then you just click import what it's going to do now is it's looking at intact and you'll notice it says updated 20 created zero that means no new customers were created but 20 uh, accounts in Sugar were updated with the latest name and address information. And it's really that simple if you wanted to do sort of a manual batch update of data. If we wanted to go into an individual customer in Sugar, we'll bring up Sally Beauty Supply. And you can see all kinds of information about Sally, you know, the address, um, email, phone, etc. In addition, there's some intact specific data here. There's the intact company they go to the customer ID at intact and the outstanding balance in intact and this is all updated you know as I said every night if you go on um, if you sync on a schedule or that kind of thing in addition there's sales history that comes in from intact and this lists all the invoices and if you recall when we did our configuration uh, we said we only wanted invoices to come in so this lists all the invoices it's got uh, an invoice number from intact the status the date created the date due total invoice and the total amount paid against the invoice. So we can see the first one is paid in full, the last two are not. If we drill down into an invoice, you get more detail. So down here you can see the line items. First line item has a quantity of 20 for $48. The second one has a quantity of one for $12, etc. You can see the sales tax, the freight, and then the total amount of the invoice. And so that's the cool part about um, the integration is it brings in all this data. And again, it's done on a scheduler. It's updated every night. So your salespeople have access to seeing 
detailed invoice history under each account. And there's more data available as well. This is just sort of the standard uh, view of the account. Um, the next thing to take a look at is the product catalog. Product catalog are inventory items. And the product catalog syncs from intact as well. And so you'll notice, again, there's uh, an intact, intact company ID here, because if you're running multiple companies, you can have multiple inventories. There's the item number, the description, company, the item type, availability, and the quantity on hand and intact. In addition, some pricing information, the cost, list, and price. And naturally, you don't have to have the cost sync if you don't want to. Um, so this stuff is cool. This brings in all this data into Sugar, for one, if you want your salespeople to be able to see quantity in hand, on hand. It's got this data here. And then additionally, it makes these items available to enter quotes in Sugar. And so if I were to go enter a quote in Sugar, we'll just go do that now. And let's make a quote for uh, cash drawers May. We can pick our intact company we want it to go to. The quote stage is important. It uh, Close accepted means it will automatically go to intact the next time the automatic sync runs. And let's say this is valid through uh, the end of May. All right, and so billing account name, let's say we're going to do this for Sally. And this will be Sally Bird. And let's go enter in uh, some items. So let's do a cash drawer, shall we? And oops, let's do this. We'll say cash. We can pull up a list of items here. And pick an item off the list. And you'll notice this is our product catalog, right? And so we're going to say, it's a, we want to pick a USB cash drawer. And let's do four of those. And let's charge 300 a pop for that. And I think that's all we're going to do here. So I'm going to click Save. And we have a, we have a quote enter. Now, we can sit and wait for the synchronization to kick in based on uh, the scheduler. Or we can just click Send to Intact and it'll take this order and send it right over to Intact. Let's give it a second. And you'll notice here we get a note back, export sugar quote record to Intact, success, sales order SO24 created. If I go back now to this record, it has Intact document ID SO024 waiting there for us. If I were to go into Intact and Let's go look at our sales orders in Intact. And there it is, SO24. Just turned it in, today's date. If I wanted to view it, we'll see up. We have our cash drawer, four of them at $300 each. And that's sending, entering a sales order to Sugar and having it show up in Intact. Now, there's a, a few other things we can get into. We, it'll sync contacts as well. Um, you can definitely import quotes from Intact into Sugar. You can send things in batch mode. You can send things individually. Um, all the data that comes into Sugar from Intact is available in all the standard ways in Sugar. So they can be used for dashboards, reporting, workflows, et cetera. Uh, the last thing I just want to show you in this quick demo this morning is the mapping tool. And if you recall back on our admin screen, there's the intact sugar mapping. And it's pretty intuitive. So if you uh, have custom fields in intact or custom fields in sugar, they can be mapped here just like any other field. Let's say I wanted to uh, tweak the account mapping between sugar and, and intact. So I'm going to click edit that mapping. And really what you can see is it's pretty straightforward. You've got intact fields here on the right. You've got sugar fields here on the left. And if I wanted to add a new mapping, I'd say add data field. Over here, I've got all my intact fields, right? So I could say currency. And then on the left, I can pick my sugar field. And I don't know if I have a currency field, but we'll say, uh, let's see what we have here. Yeah, you know, we'll call it uh, ticker symbol. 
So we'll send the currency in the ticker symbol, click Save. And there we go. We just save that mapping. So the mapping is just that easy. When you install, um, when you install the Sugar Intact integration, um, it actually installs all these mappings for you. But they're here that you can tweak them and change them and do whatever you need to do. And so I think that's it for our uh, Sugar Intact integration right now. Thanks for uh, watching. I know this was quick, but I just wanted to give you a quick flavor for how the integration worked and some of the key features.